Welcome to The Actor's Choice, where the actors and actresses have a chance to talk about themselves and their careers. Join us now for the next hour as we explore the marvelous industry of acting by actors and actresses from today's exciting show business world. And now, direct from Hollywood, here's your host, Ron Brewington. Hi everybody, I'm Ron Brewington and welcome to The Actor's Choice. Brought to you by Photography as an Art, Harvey Brandman, Master Photographer, located at 1307 North San Fernando Boulevard in Burbank, California. And attorney Ron Irwin's 5150, The Book. It's the story of a young Irwin serving 13 months in South Vietnam as a Marine. And author Larry Buford's book to the future, Time Travel, Message in a Capsule, now available in paperback for only $17.95. And our newest sponsor, State Farm agent Carla Green, who says, and like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Our guest today was born in Ensenada, Baja, California, Mexico. As a teenager, he moved with his family to Acapulco, Mexico, where he went to school and worked in some of the most popular discos. He's had a lot of experience and he's been a businessman since he was very young, but he always loved acting and everything involved with movies. When he turned 30, he decided to study and pursue an acting career while continuing to build his companies. Well, he's now an actor and a producer. In fact, in 2016, he created Alta California Pictures to produce its first film, El Contrista. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Alejandro de Obvios. Hi, Thank you, sir. Thank you. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. God, I love that. God. Alejandro, first of all, nice to meet you. And right from now, Great. from all the folks, uh, we want to thank you because you had a last-minute call. Uh, it seems that... Uh, Michael Madsen was supposed to be here today, yeah. and he had to po postpone because of something, as you know, happens in this industry all exactly. the time. When they say, call, here's a job for you, and later for the interview, i got to get that money. You know, so right. that's what that's all Absolutely. about. Absolutely. No, no, but, I'm, I'm happy uh, to be here. Very, thank very, you. Very, very happy. But definitely we have to thank... Uh, uh, and uh, huh? are we going to do this in Spanish? Oh, uh, if you want, hey, you want. Hey, you want. Yeah, out there. Si la gente... <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> but I want to thank this young lady. She's a senior publicist, Camille El Cortez Lopez from Espada PR. From Jasmine, yeah. Jasmine Espada. Yes, PR, indeed. Yeah. A, a great organization. I call it prestigious for that for the Hispanic nice, group. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very sir. nice people. Yeah. Uh, you, I, I know you made a lot of moves after this. She made a lot of moves after the word got out that Madsen had been booked for a job today and had to reschedule. And again, I want to thank both of you. Thank you so much, Camille. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. What's what, what is it about acting that you love so much? It's it's very very interesting because I I, I liked. Movies when I was a, a little kid. Yes. I used to go with my younger brother, you know, I was eight, and I would, we would just go and watch two, three films at a time because in Mexico they had the, you know, the double feature, triple feature mm -hmm. for, a, I don't know, for a couple dollars. And I always loved movies, I just enjoyed them. Uh, but I didn't really think uh, that I would be an actor. So um, I would go see movies, I would watch them, and when I was 30, um, I went with my wife to an audition because she wanted to be an actress. She was a professional ballerina, a professional dancer. Mm. And uh, we uh, went to this audition for a commercial, and uh, the casting director uh, told her that she was looking for, for a guy who spoke Spanish. And she said, well, my husband's outside. You know, do you want to talk to him? I talked to her. I auditioned without knowing what to do. And uh, she liked me. Uh, and I did not book that uh, that. Uh, commercial but she continued calling me and then I started booking mm -hmm. like crazy uh, I started taking classes and I started booking with with that lady and uh, and then uh, continued taking classes continued acting continued doing my business you know mm -hmm. that, I, that I'm doing uh, doing the acting on the side sometimes I would be busier mm -hmm. but I'm still doing my other you know stuff and then I did over 200 commercials. I, it's, it, yeah, wow. I was very fortunate that I would book 20, 30 commercials wow, a year. Wow, that face has been seen by many. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, uh, it's, it's very interesting. I, I, I don't know if we, we can talk about we, products. We, we, you know, we, we, can we talk about products? About so um, I, I have a medical facility, so I, I deal with a lot of doctors. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I booked this uh, Cialis commercial like three years ago. You know Cialis? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So anyway, uh, people would tease me all the time, you know, my mm -hmm. doctor friends or whatever. They would, they would be like, hey, Alex, how's your condition? You know, are you, are you feeling better? And I said, well, it was fine. But once I started getting residuals, every time I get a check, I get an erection. So, you know, <laughs> so, so I would just, you know, but have fun with it because mm -hmm. it, it's great. I mean, you book a commercial like that, you make a lot of money, which is, which is great. It doesn't happen very often, mm -hmm. so you, you enjoy it. When, Indeed. Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. care that they, they make fun of, uh, of that. You know? mm -hmm. yeah. What kind of roles do you look for? I, since I'm, I, I was a martial artist, you know, since I was about uh, 11, black 12. Belt? Yeah, I was a black belt when I was about mm -hmm. 16, 17. Mm -hmm. And uh, I love martial arts. I, I loved anything that has to do with martial arts. So I always thought of uh, uh, action films uh, with martial arts. And uh, my movie, El Contratista, uh, has some uh, fights in there, some martial arts. So I did my own, my own Excellent. Uh, Excellent. Uh, stunts. Uh, this is very interesting because my teacher from when I was uh, young, he lives in Ensenada. He's a black belt 10th degree. I, I went and talked to him and I said, look, I want to mm -hmm. do this film and I need you to help me choreograph. So he helped and he brought his son, who's also a fourth degree black belt, and between the three of, of, of us, we choreographed the fight for the, for the movie, for, the, for this scene, specific scene. And it was great. It was great. Uh, yeah. The son actually plays a, a, a bad guy, and, and he and I are the ones doing uh, the whole fight. Mm. It, was, mm. uh, it, it was great to, to, after so many years of mm -hmm. uh, not training, because I, I, I still work out, but not, you yes. know. Not like you have to train for a movie. What style of karate? Of karate it, it was uh, it was called Lima Lama. It's a it's a Polynesian art similar mm -hmm. to kung fu or kenpo. Mm -hmm. When I was uh, studying, we, we didn't have MMA. It was gotcha. not popular. The mixed martial arts. Yes. So they they had uh, uh, kickboxing. They, mm -hmm. You know they had uh, full contact. That's what it was called, or point tournaments. Um, so I I competed in a lot of those, and it, it was fun. It was it was, it was, it was great. But uh, it was great to actually see it on film, you know, yes. with the finished product, you know, me throwing the kicks, uh, being that I'm 57 years old. You're 57? I'm 57. Don't look at me. Yeah, I know you're very young, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, it, was, it was good for me to, to, to do an, uh, an action film where I'm, I'm still in shape. And I feel like I'm 30, you know, 35. You're good. Know, so, thanks. What did so, you call him, the uh, Latino James Bond? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. She likes to call me the Latino. I put on a tux, and then they like to see me in a, in a tux. Yeah. All right, all right. James Bond. Mm. So mm. that's what I like. I, yeah. I like action films, but I'll be honest with you. I have seen a lot of action films, and you know, uh, big explosions and a lot of special effects. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I get bored. You know, I get bored. bored? Yeah, bored. Be because for me, action uh, to see all the explosions and all of this doesn't necessarily mean that it's fun. If it doesn't have a meaning, if, if the story is weak, I feel like it, it kind of bores me. Okay. Now, now if they, if there's something that I feel interested uh, on, uh, about, you know, mm -hmm. and then there's action, yeah, then I love it. Exactly. You know, I love it. It's funny because I was watching. Uh, I, we can talk about movies. I was watching Heat. Uh, you know, it's been like I watched it three, four times, and mm -hmm. I, I love that movie. I love all the Robert De Niro, Pacino, mm -hmm. both of them talking. Mm -hmm. You know. I'm gonna catch you. The other guy is like, well, you know, try it. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, and, and the action uh, sequences are amazing. For for me, that's an action film that has a lot of meaning and yes. a lot of relationships. Mm -hmm. That's that, that's what I like. Gotcha. That's what I like. Gotcha. Gotcha. Does that answer your question? Oh yes, because yeah. <laughs> I used to get karate myself, uh, a, a Korean karate. Oh, Korean. Bruce yeah. Lee and all that kind of guy. I've heard of it. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> made a few dollars for himself. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I said, it keeps you in good shape. That's the whole yeah. idea, you know. It's not you're not going out there, <laughs> not doing that. You just in it's, good shape. Yeah, it's very interesting because I used to fight a lot when I was younger, and yeah. once I started, uh, you know, becoming more advanced, then yes. I stopped fighting. Yeah, I stopped fighting. People would tell me, "Well, you know, don't you get into fights?" Right. Well, no. No. I know that uh, I don't need to show this guy, you know, exactly. in high school or whatever. That I can, right. And they, they respect that, too. Yes, they yeah. respect that. Yeah. Yeah. As I looked at your IMDb record, mm -hmm. uh, I noticed that you have done a lot of work in such a short time. In 1994, you got your first IMDb actor credit for a role in the movie, Clear and Present Danger. 
Yes. Yes, can yes. tell us about that. Yeah, that, that, that movie is with uh, Harrison Ford, Harrison and it did, Ford, yes. it did great. That was mm -hmm. a, a, a very successful movie. Mm -hmm. um, it was one of those things, last minute, uh, they were looking for somebody who spoke Spanish to be a reporter. Mm -hmm. um, I, they called me, I went, and uh, they liked me. And uh, my job was to explain what had happened. There was uh, like a big explosion there, and mm -hmm. they... There are bodies all over the, the place. You know, Harrison Ford is supposed to look at that. And, and so uh, there I am uh, talking about how there are some uh, you know, teddy bears on the floor so, so you can imagine that something bad happened, you know, a big explosion. So I went to see the movie, and it was great. There I am. People told me, hey, Alex, that's you. <laughs> and uh, what happened is that they cut it. Uh, they cut a, a lot of the, of the scenes, yes. uh, which is fine, you know, mm -hmm. because... What they did with the movie, they uh, they had a, the scene changed in, uh, that, that there was a missile. So right. the missile created a big crater. Mm -hmm. So the scene where I am showing the boss and showing the house, you know, was not there anymore. You know, mm -hmm. so it's basically my my face. But it, it was a great experience. Right. It was great. You got paid and you got credit. I That's got paid. I, I, it's yeah. funny to talk about getting paid. I still get checks for like eighteen dollars. You know, for the answer? <laughs> uh, yeah. from Paramount. You know. Yeah. And, uh, it's great. I it's love great. that residual system, don't you? Yeah, and that was 20-something years ago. That's, wow. that's when I started, you know. Mm. Yeah, Still right. getting that money. Wow. When I was 30-something, yes. And then the following year, you got two episodes in the TV series Sisters, and then in 1998, you stepped on the set of the very popular soap opera The Bold and the Beautiful. Yeah, I did a couple of, a couple yeah. of uh, episodes there, Bold and the Beautiful, mm -hmm. Young and the Restless. Um, none of them were... Uh, Love scenes or anything, which okay. is which is fine. Uh, I played an attorney in, a, in a Young and the Restless. Yeah, I'm always playing doctors and attorneys. I, I guess they they like me for, mm -hmm. for yeah, those. the distinguished look. Yeah, yeah they, yeah, yeah. they mm -hmm. more yeah, mm -hmm. which which is fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, which is yeah. good. Take what you got. I I can play a bad guy. You know, actually in in the movie the uh, El Contratista, I don't play a bad guy. But if you see me there, you are. Even my mom says, I, I don't know who that guy is. It's, it's very, he's very serious. He's very yes. focused, ex-military, you know, down to business. Yes. Not the Alex that you might yeah. know. Alex mm -hmm. Alejandro. So that's good. I know mom is proud of you. My mom is very proud. She watches the movie and she cries every time because mm -hmm. uh, there are a couple of scenes that are very, mm -hmm. you know, meaty, that, mm -hmm. that are nice, and uh, she enjoys that. Yeah. And she's like, I, I can't believe I've watched this movie 10 times, and every time it gets me. This scene where you're doing this with this person, it, it gets me every single time. Yeah. And I said, well, that's good. Yeah, that's, that's good. good. Yeah. Now you stayed on that series and from uh, 1998 through 2003. Mm -hmm. On uh, well, for for uh, soaps and, and stuff like that, mm -hmm. they call you uh, on the different different times. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they get calling me back, which is which is nice. You know, as you know, they're taking a lot of soaps off the air, but yes. people love soaps. You can you, you can live the whole life. Ah, through. well, in Mexico, it's it's all about soaps. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, I have never worked in in, in, in Mexico because mm -hmm. uh, again, I lived all my my life in Mexico. All my life. Uh, well, I was 22 when I came here, you know, so now it's not all my life. My, yes. all, all my life now is, is here, you know, mm -hmm. most of my life. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I grew up in Mexico, came when I was about 22, 23, got married with, you know, my wife here, uh, obviously. Uh, and, well, same way, I guess I mean the same way. And, uh, uh, yeah, I never uh, worked in, in, in Mexico. Yes. I was in acting at the time. Got you. Yeah. Would you ever go so, back to Mexico to do some acting? Yeah, yeah, of course, yes. of course, yeah, yeah. A lot again, of famous actors came out of there. Yes. Um, yes. Again, I'm. I'm um, it's not that I'm picky, I, I, but I like to to choose what I what yes. I do. Uh, we were talking about earlier about um, why do you why do I think I have had some success in in, in, in this business mm -hmm. and. Uh, I, one of the reasons might be that I, I do believe that I can do a good job, but also I'm hungry enough, mm -hmm. but I'm not desperate. Yeah. Okay. You know, I guess since I have my companies that I'm also building and working on, right. I'm very thankful when something comes along as, as, uh, as far as acting. Yes. If uh, you tell me, Alex, there's this project that you're interested, uh, I'll be... I'll look 
you know, at that. And if I love it, I'll be very excited, you know. You. Mm -hmm. But I'm not like, please, please. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> you know, yeah, which yeah. I'm not saying everybody's like that, but right. you know, I think that's that's important. Indeed, you know? very important. To be, to be hungry mm -hmm. uh, for anything that you do in mm -hmm. life, you know, but not too desperate. Yeah. Because people smell that fear. Oh, that yeah. there's, there's, there's a belief uh, for me that uh, if you're too desperate, it, it's like, it's a turn off mm -hmm. for people, whether it's a relationship mm -hmm. or a job, interview, anything. Yes. Yeah. Yes, indeed. So be interested enough, but, but not, not desperate. Not desperate, yes. Not desperate. Yes. A little hungry. A little hungry. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alex, of course, you represent the Latino culture as you see it. What is the image that Hollywood wants for Latinos? Well, I would be generalizing if I said what Hollywood wants. I, I would rather say what uh, what we see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm not saying that this is what they want, but what, what we see is uh, Latinos uh, being, uh, ladies uh, complain because I go to auditions, ladies complain mm -hmm. and they say, Alex, all, all we go for go out for is uh, uh, maids, you yeah. know, uh, uh, parts mm -hmm. that, you know. Wow. And then I say, well, you know, I, uh, guys also complain that they do the gardener. Mm -hmm. uh, a friend of mine and I have a, a, a thing because he asks this guy who works all the time, Hey, so uh, I'm so excited you booked this part, and then uh, and then he asks, well, so, so so what was the part?" And he says, "A Mexican," <laughs> <laughs> but he means a gardener, you know, or whatever, which is oh, which is shame. interesting. And mm -hmm. you know, it's uh, again, I'm thankful if they're gonna hire me as a gardener, uh, and the, and the story is good. I'm I'm thankful. I'm I'm happy. Yeah. Yes. But uh, at the same time, I would like to to be able to portray Latinos, Mexicans, or right. you know, Hispanics as uh, professionals mm -hmm. also. Doesn't mean that uh, everybody should be a professional. No. Doesn't mean that everybody should be a good guy, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, but more diverse. Yes. You know. yeah. As you know, we minorities, we've been fighting and fighting and fighting. Your right. race, my race, we've been fighting for years to get some good roles. The right. children look at TV, look at the movies, and say, I want to see somebody who looks just like me up on that That's right. That's I right. want that. And my answer to that is let's get together with the. Uh, uh, minorities, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't matter what it is, uh, blacks, Hispanics, uh, Asians, uh, what, you know, yes. and uh, and do our own projects. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, that's what I decided to do with the, because I would, I was working all the time. And then, and, and, uh, again, I hear all this uh, on auditions, you know, because we, we have four, five, six people yes. and they're waiting. We're all waiting. We're talking. And, uh, uh, one day, a, a guy said, again, he was complaining about, no, they just want white people. And, and I, I said, don't generalize. No. Listen, if if we want to do this so badly, let's do our own projects. Exactly. And he <clears throat> said, well, it's easier said than done. And then I said, okay, I'm going to do it. So that's when I decided to open my, my own production company a couple of, couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, I produced it. I put the money for the movie and uh, decided to produce and, and act in it. Outstanding. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, uh, we can complain all you want yeah, sure. about how it's it's not fair and, and whites and this. And, I'm and, getting and my no. violin out when you're doing yeah, it. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. yeah. So, and uh, and people say, well, well, you're fortunate because you're, you're, you, you can do it. And I said, not necessarily. If you really want to do a film, you're Hispanic. You want to do a film. Yes. You have a good script. Mm -hmm. You take it to somebody who has money, whether he's Latino, a any ethnicity, mm -hmm. or white, or whatever. If they like your script, they'll want to produce it. Right. And they say, well, yeah, but they'll want a white guy playing a Hispanic. Mm -hmm. And then you say, well, then you say no. Right. You have, you have that leverage. You know, yes. they like your script, you have the leverage. You yeah, have the choice leverage. to say yes or no. Yes. Again. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Being on a movie set. What's that like? Um, it's well, it's uh, there's a lot of nerves, you yes. know. But once you once you do your first scene, I, th I think it's it's a lot more relaxing. Uh, it's about focusing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's yes. about this. Mm -hmm. Once you're here and you forget about the camera and about the, the people back there, then it's fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun when you connect and you're there. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Mm -hmm. There's 
you know, you hear about actors being uh, bitten by, you know, the, mm -hmm. bug. the yeah. acting bug. Yeah. The acting bug. It, that's, yeah. that's what it is. You, you feel this amazing connection that you normally don't, don't feel because it's, it's so focused. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love. I don't necessarily love being uh, famous. I, I'm not, uh, I, I know that uh, fame comes with, 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 the, with the work. But I, I do enjoy the work, and, and I'm not just saying that. I, uh, I watch a lot of, because uh, now they have so many series on Netflix, and, oh, uh, and, yeah, and they're yes. really, really good. <clears throat> I, I was watching the Ozark with uh, Jason Bateman. And I, I love that, that series. And, uh, and you look, look at some of these actors, and they're not famous, but they're really good actors. Right, right. And you're like, wow, right. that, mm -hmm. that's what I like. Yeah. That's what I would like to do. Yes. Somebody who's working all the time, doing really good work, and who's not having to worry about, you know, yes. paparazzi, and you right. did this, you did that, you know. Mm. So that's, that's my ideal situation for, for uh, being an actor. Okay. Working, but not necessarily being famous. So when you're on the set, where's your favorite place on the set? <laughs> uh, well, it's not that it's my my favorite, but being uh, now that I produce this thing to be behind the camera and see the actors so on the other side, that's mm -hmm. that's a, that's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, again, it's a different type of uh, nerves. You, you just mm -hmm. want to make sure that everything is fine. Mm -hmm. But uh, um, yeah, so behind the camera maybe. Mm -hmm. But I, I, like I said, I, I enjoy being in front of the camera after they won. Right. After they won. My favorite is craft services. Craft <laughs> services, yeah. <laughs> Give me the food. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got food. you, yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah. And of course, you have to do auditions. We have, and we have on this show, a lot of people come, and some people like the auditions. They, others hate auditions. They hate them. Yeah. No, no, I, I don't mind auditions. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess uh, you might complain uh, about the auditions because you're not ready for the part. Right. You know that you're completely not right. But then sometimes you say, I, I didn't do a good job, and then they book you. They're like, no, they liked you. Mm -hmm. You're like, what? I thought I was horrible. Because, you know, we're our worst uh, yes. enemies. You know, we, uh, we judge ourselves. Mm -hmm. They said I did horribly. Horrible. Criticize yourself. Yeah, oh, yeah. they're like, oh, wow, yeah. no, no, no. That, I, that you did exactly what we wanted, you know, mm -hmm. you, what we asked for. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so, so you do it. You do you it. Know? Yeah. yeah. Okay. On with your career, sir. 1999, you had a, yeah, three projects that year, including the role of Dr. Marco Roy, uh, Ramos on the yeah. TV series Air America. Yeah, I did mm. Air, Air America, you know, mm -hmm. Lorenzo Lamas, uh, and I did a guest starring role, played a doctor, mm -hmm. which is a very nice part. Okay. Uh, I play a, a rich doctor who comes back home to his uh, Hispanic uh, gangbanger brother. And, okay. uh, yeah. uh, and that was nice. It was nice that, again, that the Hispanics were seen from different lights. I mean, you have the guy who stayed and he's a, uh, uh, in a gang, you know, mm -hmm. and then you have the brother who left uh, to go study, to go to school, to get better, to become a better, you know, person. Yes. Not necessarily a better person, but uh, an educated person. Right. Yeah. Because okay. staying home, it doesn't mean that you're not a be better person. It means more educated okay. person. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I mean. No misunderstandings, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, to see that, that part also, that uh, uh, you have the doctor, you have the, you know, guy who stay home, and mm -hmm. they're brothers, they still love each other, they have different, you know, ways of seeing life, but they still love each other, right. yeah. That's real, I love that. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I like that, yeah. and, I, and I was very proud to do that, that mm -hmm. part, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fast yeah. forward to 2000, you had the role of an auctioneer on the popular TV series General Hospital. General Hospital, yeah. Yeah. It's one of those, <laughs> see, a lot, of, a lot of these things, it was just like, they need some somebody right away. They call me, I book it. Yes. Uh, believe it or not, I I, would, I had to speak fast. Okay. You know, very 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 fast. And, mm -hmm. uh, and that, it's kind of hard in English, you know, for me because it's obviously it's my second language. Mm -hmm. So to be able to say you know, whatever you were selling, auctioning, yes. you know, yes. uh, rattling it off. Yes. Yeah. 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 So yeah, uh, yeah that was good. Okay. Most of these uh, uh, things that you have on IMDb, they're, they're uh, episodes that I did did as a as a guest star, yes, guest star, yes, yeah, yes. guest star, mm -hmm. and uh, and those were. So I was doing my my business, and then I would book a commercial, and then I would book a guest starring role here and there. Uh, the the one that you were talking about earlier with uh, uh, sisters, yes, sisters, yeah, sisters. That that was a, a really nice uh, cast, 
and uh, I'm forgetting the name of the of the girl there, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, from from sisters. And I had a crush on her. <laughs> I, w I was already married, but it, it, you know, I had a crush on her because yeah. we we do a scene where where I ask her how how are things going, you know. Mm -hmm. She's there with the whole family, and she said, uh, "Are you?" doing okay? And she says, I am now, you know, so we have this nice connection. Back and forth, yes. Ashley, Ashley Judd, you know. Ashley Judd? Yeah, yeah. So oh my that goodness. Was Ashley. So I had a crush on her for the longest time. I would tell my wife, I, you know, I have a crush on Ashley Judd. So um, I still have a crush on her, but. Uh, Ain't nothing wrong with it. Get an answer. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, that was, that was fun. Yeah, that was also fun, fun right. to, to do that, to mm -hmm. see somebody that, that, that you like. Oh, and uh, there was another another gentleman there uh, playing my grandfather. I think his name is Henry, uh, and uh, he used to be in a show called uh, El Chaparral in Spanish. Okay. I don't know if it was called Chaparral here. Okay. And I love that guy. His name was Manolito, Manolito, like mm -hmm. Manolo, Manolito. Mm -hmm. And I love that guy, and I was very excited. That was one of my first jobs to be working with him. Can you imagine, I, I don't know who your idol is, but any, any actor that you knew when you were a kid, like, uh, and then you, you see him on TV, yeah. and then one day you're working with him. Yeah. He was very nice, it's, it's just like, mm. it's like you and I talking, you know. And that's yeah. what I like him, right? Yeah. We all got ego, you know, we right. that's all, but uh, sometimes right. it's just cool it, cool it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get more out of people that way. So that was good, I said, wow, I'm yeah. working with Manolito, you know, yeah. that, this, this guy. You know? yeah. and, he's a, and he's a nice down earth. He was a nice, very yeah. nice guy, yeah. yeah, very nice guy. Awesome guy. Yeah, we gotta talk about that more, tell us some more. I'm sorry? I said, we gotta talk about that fellow some more. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, we, got, we have to take a short break, sir. Okay. Uh, no and when we return, we're gonna take some more, get some more information from uh, Alejandro de Hoyos. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, this is the actor's choice. I'm your host, Ron Brewington. The studio of Harvey Brandman Photography as an Art is proud to offer you a $100 discount off any photo package. They added $300 or more. Now, Harvey's been in the business for nearly a quarter of a century, and he certainly knows just how to take care of his customers. So please give him a call today at 818-954-9294. That's 818-954-9294. Nine five four nine two nine four. You'll be glad you did. And by the way, please tell Harvey that you heard about his offer right here on the Actors' Choice. Fifty one fifty. The book is the latest release from author and attorney Ron Irwin. As a young Marine, Irwin spent thirteen months in Chu Lai, Republic of Vietnam. His experience, where it was nearly three million Americans went to war, was, as he puts it, fifty one fifty. The book is currently available in paperback at Lulu.com. That's lulu.com, and Irwin says he'll give 20% of net book sales split evenly between the Veterans of Foreign Wars and Vietnam Veterans of America. Book to the Future, Time Travel, Message in a Capsule, is a new book by author Larry Buford. It's a historical and faith-based account of how what we do and follow today will affect us tomorrow. The author also calls it an adventure for those who want to travel back through time. The book is now available in paperback for only $17.95 from Amazon. Get your copy today. And now a word from State Farm agent Carla Green. Roll that video, sir. Let me ask you something. What do you see when you look at your home and your car? Do you see a bundle? A combo deal. That's how other insurance companies see them. But a State Farm agent sees so much more. Because the State Farm agencies, your home and your car is more than just four walls and four wheels. They see the things you've worked really hard for. So why not give them the protection they deserve? Let me help you with that. Give me a call. State Farm agent Carla Green, 213-239-9675. I look forward to speaking with you. The Black Hollywood and Resource Center, or BHAB, is pre presenting the 21st Annual Real Black Men Film Festival on Saturday, October 13th at the Raleigh Studios, 5300 Melrose Avenue in Hollywood. The festival is for minority filmmakers to show their movies to audiences to get that necessary feedback needed to make them better filmmakers. Film screenings and Q&As start at 7 p.m. through 9.30 p.m. 
then a reception until 11 p.m. The cost is $25. For more information, call 310-284-3170. That's 310-284-3170. And finally, if you have a product, a service, or an upcoming event that you would like to see advertised on this program, please call 323-533-1036. That's 323-533-1036. Our prices are very affordable. Thank you. This is the Axis Choice. I'm your host, Ron Brewington, and uh, we got a great actor. We got a great uh, guest today. Uh, he's here today. His name is Alejandro de Hoyos. Perfect. Thank you for Alejandro being here, Alejandro de Hoyos. Perfect. She trains me. You, yeah, no, you, no, she you, trains you me. I swear, she yeah. trains me. She says, Ron, here's how you say that word, how you say that oh, word. And I oh, my gosh. Right. I've been called the Hoya, the Hazes, the He's, the Hoyos. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's all right. Wonderful. Camille, thank you very much, yeah. Camille. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. When we left for the break, you were talking about your work on General Hospital in 2003, but four years later, you got involved with a short film called Until Next Time. Yes. Yes. Again, uh, uh, this was, um, it's so interesting because I haven't had an agent in forever. Okay. I, I, get, I book all these things uh, through friends or people who know about me. Right. And um, a friend of mine, uh, she was uh, in my class, in my acting class. Okay. And she decided to direct and, and produce her own uh, short and right. she called me and I played the love interest mm -hmm. uh, and it was a very nice part it's, mm. a, it's, a, it's about a guy who's dead yes so I come back as a, as a ghost your name uh, is Anthony Anthony yeah. yes yeah okay it's a, it, it was a lovely story okay short story we got a little bit of clip of it Tony you can do. you roll that oh, film wow. sir? I love when a woman takes them off and throws them on the floor. Get away from me! Get away from me! And white. Black and white, yeah. yeah. Yeah, she did a really good job. Yeah. Yeah, again, a love story. I'm mm -hmm. supposed to be dead. And mm -hmm. uh, apparently she's looking for me, for, for my character. She believes that, uh, I guess, I don't know, come back somehow. So she's looking for me mm. in other men. Yeah. But she can't find me. Oh. <laughs> don't you love them? Until love something stories? happens, yeah. Yeah, until, yeah. 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 Them love stories get you right here. Right, right, right here. Right, yeah, right. oh, yeah. 20, 2008 to 2010, Elsie was next up with 12 Ilse. episodes. Yeah, I had this friend, Ruth Levy, again, another mm -hmm. friend, and mm -hmm. uh, she's done a lot of work. She's uh, very successful. Uh, she does a lot of plays, musicals. She, she's very good, very good, talented actress. So she decided to write Ilse, and uh, it's a comedy. And uh, it was uh, when uh, web episodes were starting. I mean, she was a pioneer. Mm -hmm. It was, what, eight, 2000, what, eight, nine? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, she was nominated for an uh, Imagen Award. Yes. And she won, you know, for, for this. Yeah. yeah, excellent. We went and, and got the trophy yes. up there, you know. It was very nice. And that, this, this, it, it was a comedy, like I said, and, um, but it had a lot of meaning, too. Mm -hmm. that, that's what I, I'm, I'm attracted to projects that, whether they're comedy or drama or action or whatever, that have a meaning. Yes. Meaning. Like I was uh, saying about my, my film, I have a, a, a friend who's a writer, a very successful writer, Josh Griffith. And mm -hmm. um, he saw the movie. I've known him for 30 years. He saw the movie, 
And he really liked it. And he said, Alex, this is an action film with a conscience. With a conscience. So I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that uh, as a slogan or whatever. Yeah. El Contratista. An action film with a conscience. We're going to see some of that in a little, in a little bit. Little, yeah. I've been waiting on that one. Yeah. yeah. Indeed. Yeah. How do you prepare for a role, Alex? How do you do that? Well, this, the, there's so many ways. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, you have to find out who that character is. Everybody uh, around you, mm -hmm. everybody that's around you. Uh, well, there's a, it's, a, it's like a formula that you have to, to you know, the period, the time, the di type mm -hmm. of speech, uh, the family. Who, who's your family? Where are you coming from? Uh, what do you want? All, all those things, right. you know. Just like any actor would, would prepare. But you get out of that feeling after you, you step away from the character after you go up to set, right? I don't know if you get out of that feeling. I mean, uh, no, you're still you're 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 there. Actually, yeah. you get you get more into it, mm -hmm. into that feeling. Yeah. Who are these people to me? You're my brother. I can. So if you're my brother, you're my brother. You know. Right. I, yeah. I'm. I'm gonna. Yeah. Maybe not the same father. You know. But yeah. the, but. We're related. Yeah, we're related. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You do so, biopics. You do biopics. Biopics. Picture, you know, you do a biography of someone. Um, no. Okay. No, no, okay. no, no. Uh, I use my imagination. So mm. in, 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 the, in the case of you and I, if we're brothers, I would mm -hmm. think that either my mom, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and di different fathers or whatever. And mm -hmm. how, how could that happen? I mean, and so I start thinking about the circumstances. Not just thinking, but creating the circumstances. Okay. Okay. Yeah. How, why are we different, but right. the same? Or right. We might have similar characteristics. You yes. know? We might enjoy martial arts. Right. You know? mm -hmm. So I start grabbing all those things that, uh, that bring us together. Got gotcha. you. Because yeah. I have a twin brother. And even though we came from the same mother, same father, we do are two different people. Hmm. He's yeah. he and I'm me. You know? That's right. That's it. That's right. But we do come together. Right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. The only concern that we have, the biggest concern that we have as twins, is who's going to die first and how the other one's going to take it. Wow. It's a reality that we have to, you know, I don't relish the idea of looking down wow. the casket at him. Very interesting. And wow. I'm sure he doesn't relish the idea either. Right. But it's something that you know is going to happen. Yeah. 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 Think about it. Love wow. that guy. Yeah. No, no, Love that I, guy. I, I hope he's looking because he's our executive producer. I never thought about that. That's, yeah. that's <laughs> such an interesting concept. Yes, it wow. is. It's, 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 it's a good uh, idea for a film. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about it after the show. Yeah. Sign, some <laughs> sign some contracts. <laughs> 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 do you do any stage work, sir? State, yeah, yeah. I um, I did some plays. Now, I, I haven't done anything in a little while, okay. but I, but I did some some of the uh, classics from from Mexico. I, gotcha. I think, uh, there's a play called Fuente Alejuna. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, things uh, for uh, Bilingual Foundation of the Arts. Gotcha. I did a couple of uh, comedy mm -hmm. uh, on stage, a couple uh, plays. Altogether, I did like five or six uh, plays okay. uh, on stage. Ethnic uh, plays. A couple of them were in English. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I had a nice uh, nomination from, uh, it was called Drama Log. At oh, the yeah, time. Drama yeah. Log, yes. Yeah. Yes. For, for a, a, a play uh, mm -hmm. from Mario Vargas Llosa. Ma Mario Vargas Llosa is a very well known um, writer in Latin America. Yes. Uh, he uh, wrote a play called La Chunga okay. uh, about a, a madam. Mm -hmm. And uh, she she has her girls, and then there's the the, the guy also the typical guy uh, mm -hmm. we call him Padrote, somebody who uh, like a pimp, and uh, yeah, and I'm in love. My character is in love with one of the girls that works there. But my character is extremely shy, so I'm a shy person. You know, I was a, I was shy when I was young, but this character is, is so shy that that when he's talking to this girl, is like he he cannot even look at her. He starts like. Huh. Yeah. You know, uh, so yeah. Yeah. So I I got a really nice nomination from Drama Log and mentioned from from Excellent. Just good. So yeah, I I enjoy um, live theater. It's just with my life, with my uh, companies, uh, to be doing a play and not be making a lot of money. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the people come, the audience come, they learn. They learn yeah. about their ethnicity, yeah. about their love. Yeah, these things. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, uh, yeah, obviously a commercial, you, it takes yes. you one day, you make a lot of money, and you, money. you move on and do what you're doing yeah. over here. Yeah. Okay. 2012 through 2014, does the TV series Fixing Paco sound familiar to you? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, again, another, another 
it's amazing. All, all these things. Another friend, a director who knows me, they like my work. Mm -hmm. um, uh, he called me and he said, we're doing this. Can you play a doctor? Yeah. With uh, Paul Rodriguez was the patient. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and they're talking about uh, kidney transplant. And, and, and I was interested in that. I, I love the idea mm -hmm. of uh, playing a, a doctor. So we did it in English, and then we did it in Spanish. It's, it's so interesting because mm -hmm. you're shooting in English, and then they say, okay, switch. Now we've got to do it in Spanish. Right. Communication. So everybody has to, yep. you know, start yes. thinking in Spanish yes. now. Yes. Yeah. So um, what, it, it's one of those that it, that it was educational also. Mm -hmm. it, it was a fun, cause, funny sometimes because they have Paul Rodriguez. Yes. And, uh, and a lot of really good actors there. Yes. And uh, it was educational. Okay. For, for, for we got a short copy of that, just a little flick. Oh, wow. Yeah. You have all Tony, can you roll it, sir? You see, my dad has end-stage renal disease, which is just the doctor way to say his kidneys failed. So I decided to start this blog as a way of dealing with it. It helps me to talk things through. Maybe it'll help you, too. Famous Doña Julia, mm -hmm. oh, we all know who she is. A transplant, uh, uh, would that help? Mr. Fuentes, I am ready to fix it. Okay, let's go. Outstanding. Yes, yes, yes. 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 I'm the doctor in, uh, who does the transplant for yes. Paul Rodriguez. Yes. Again, a lot, a lot of these guys are really good actors. Yes. yes. It's great. All, all of them. It's, it's good to work with all these people. Wow. When they say uh, that uh, Latinos are not uh, hired because they're not as good, I don't know what they're talking right. about. They're, they're really good. Silly yeah, people. They're really good. Yeah. Silly yeah. people. Yeah. Alejandro, I wanted to save the blast for best, the best for last, and I stopped. You, you want to save the blast the last. <laughs> <laughs> the blast for last. Uh, in 2016, as you know, you founded a film company uh, with a film called El Contra Sta. El Contratista. Contista. Contra okay. Tista. Contra Tista. Perfect. Tell us about Which that. Which means the contractor. The contractor. The yes. contractor. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's very interesting. I don't know how much time we have, but I, I'll, I'll tell you. a few minutes. Okay. So uh, I formed this company called Alta California because mm -hmm. uh, a few years ago I was going to do a movie about uh, California. There was mm -hmm. a story, Alta California, because we have Baja California, which is where I'm from. Right. And in, uh, in the old days, uh, California was called Alta California. Okay. So I really liked that name, the distinction. It was kind of like to educate people about uh, how... Uh, California used to be part of Mexico mm -hmm. before and all that. Right. But anyway, so I like that name, Alta California uh, Pictures. That's my production company. El Contratista, I was uh, in my office. A friend of mine said, hey, Alex, because he knew that I was looking for a movie. He said, our friend, Jojo Henriksen, the director of the, of the movie, has this script. He's had it for a few years, and uh, are you interested in, in reading it? And I said, sure, yeah. So I, uh, I read it, and... Uh, there was a lot of explosions, and I said, wow, but this is going to be extremely expensive. This is millions and millions of dollars. And he said, let me talk to Jojo. So Jojo uh, and I got together, and he said, I'll fix it so we don't have as many mm. explosions and many, you know, uh, scenes like that. And uh, uh, I, I love the idea of producing this film. Mm -hmm. We were going to bring uh, a celebrity from Mexico or from Argentina, uh, different, we were thinking for, for my my part, my character, yes. and he was, uh, he just wanted to be the writer, he, he didn't want to direct it, because it was a big film, and uh, I said, no, you have to direct it, I mean, you wrote it, nobody understands this movie better than you do, so I want you to direct it, and he said, okay, I'll direct it, mm -hmm. if you act in it, and I said, <laughs> I said, are you sure I can carry the movie, he's like, yes, See, I have wor worked with him before, gotcha. he's like, yes, you can carry the movie, mm. so I was like, Okay, you okay. direct, I act in it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need your help. <laughs> okay. So uh, yeah, we did it, and uh, and that was my biggest concern. Can I carry this movie? And yes. uh, 
and throughout the editing, he he would call me. He said, "Alex, you are carrying that movie. You you know, it's mm. it's it's working out great." Yeah, so I was I was happy about it. Okay, that. has it, it been released yet? No, we had a, a screening for uh, a cast in France mm -hmm. at the Egyptian, right? And uh, it was very successful. We had a red carpet with uh, Camille <laughs> and uh, Jasmine. We had yes. the celebrities there. Two good ladies. And we had. Over seven hundred people. Ouch! Seven hundred people. Beautiful. It was, uh, yeah. Some people couldn't get in, which yeah. was great. Yeah. Very, very successful. And uh, it was interesting to see it on a big screen. Yeah. Because we had seen it at home mm -hmm. or little. Well, it's a big screen for us, but uh, to see it on a huge screen with a mm -hmm. nice sound, and um, I was kind of nervous to see how people would react. So for me, what the Ma what made me happy, funny enough, what made me happy is that uh, to see turn around and see pe people when they're gasping, yes. or excited, or laughing, yes. or when they start crying. It's like all the emotions you touch. All the emotions. Yes. Like, yeah, I'm just looking around. I'm, I'm not even watching the movie. You know, like watching, and I see people. I, I hear people going like, mm -hmm. it's not a, a again a melodrama like. A, mm -hmm. Like Camille like said, it, it has a drama, it has action, it has comedy, it has it's okay. it's a meaningful movie, you know. Okay. Uh, Jojo Henriksen, the director, did a really good job writing and, and directing and editing it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for a doozy. This is Action. Roll it, Tony. That's one. That's one. Huh? Let him go. I said, get back to your post, wet bat. My conscience no me permite continuar aquí. Pobre niño no socializa mucho. Has matado a alguien. ¿Usted se cree capaz de juzgar a esta gente? Yo no. Te lavan el cerebro con falsos discursos de amor a la patria. El cártel nos tiene aquí acorralados. Tengo amigos en el gobierno. Si quieren, les hablo, que nos apoyen. Eso ya no sirve de nada hasta el punto. ¿Vas a matar a más malos? ¡Gobicho! ¡Gobicho! ¿Por qué vienen todos vestidos como que van a la guerra? Acabamos de regresar de una. ¿Qué algo? That's action, my friend. That's action. Yeah, yeah. See, a lot of yes. these, gay, these guys, these guys, these guys are, are really, really uh, well known in Mexico. Got you. Uh, we brought them straight from from, from Mexico because they, they have a good reputation as, as very good actors. Got gotcha. you. And they did an amazing job. Uh, the actors here in LA also did a really, mm -hmm. really good job. So okay. it, it was a really nice team, and uh, we shot it in Mexico. Uh huh. And I was a little concerned about that because I didn't know how they worked in mm -hmm. uh, Baja. And uh, I was so surprised, pleasantly surprised. Those guys are amazing. They were very professional. Mm -hmm. They knew what they were doing. Uh, they were working hard. Mm -hmm. We were working in the middle of the night. And I was like, wow. It's a, it's a, it, it was a dream team. Amazing. The, yeah, the director of photography. You know, everybody was amazing. And for my next film, I, I definitely want to shoot it there. Okay, so you know, I've got to ask this question. When is it coming out? When is the movie coming yes. out? Yes. Right now, we're talking to a couple of uh, big distributors. Okay. And uh, we uh, uh, had a, uh, an offer already, but uh, we, we want something a little better. Uh, we're looking at the, at, the, at the options, which is a very good place to be in. Okay. Um, a lot of people don't ever get somebody to to tell them that they're interested in your movie. Mm -hmm. Here we have a few people, a few companies interested in the movie. Okay. It just has to be the, the, the right deal. Okay. I put a lot of effort, I put money into it, so I want to be able to get, know, some, get some of it. Yeah, yeah. Get some return. Yeah. And at the same time, we want, uh, since it's my first film, I'm not as uh, anxious to sell it for millions of dollars, yes. but we want, we want people to be able to see it. Okay. Yeah. So. 
Well, Alejandro, this, we really appreciate you coming down today. And again, thank you so much great. for coming no, no, in at the last minute. No, no, this was fun. And, and thank you so yeah. much for the Oh, the yeah, point. that's, that's yeah. trade bargain. Yeah. No, no, but I, yeah. I, I love this. Good. I love this. Good. It's like, yeah. next time, uh, yeah, you can give me like a, you got a, a little come more. Come back of this. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't finished talking. Come yeah, back maybe again. Yeah, give me 10. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> So, yeah, this is great. So, so what are you doing after this? <laughs> uh, we'll talk about it. i got to get out of here today. Special thanks to our sponsors, Harvey Brandman, Photography is an Art, Ron Urban's 5150, The Book, Larry Buford's Book to the Future, Time Travel, Message in a Capsule, and State Farm Agent Carla Green. Much, much thanks to our guest, Alejandro de Hoyos, actor and producer. God bless you, sir. Keep Thank on you, doing it. Thank Keep you so on much. doing it. Yeah. That Camille did it again. Did yeah. it again. Best wishes to you, sir. And Thank for you. our ever-growing audience, we want to thank you. We'll see you again next time. Take care.